morning. We're happy to introduce Chas Hastings with Jerry's Old Town Inn and Von Rothenberg in Germantown. Yes. There you go, Lisa. You can read this part. Well, hey, Chaz, you are a restaurateur, a chef extraordinaire, and we just thank you for joining us this morning. Now, this morning, we've got our festive attire on. I just yes. put these lights on because you're going to show us how to make uh, some appetizers. an appetizer and also tell us about some festive beverages yep. that people can take part in as we head into Christmas and, of course, the New Year. Yes, for sure. Well, the first item that I want to show today is right off of our breakfast buffet. And this is our jalapeno, red pepper, bacon wrapped egg. I dessert. think people will be call. really impressed it by that. It smells really good. Yep. It only has a few ingredients and we actually made a full screen for people at home if you guys want to make it. Uh, it include 12 slices of bacon, 18 large eggs, uh, a fourth cup of sour cream, a half cup of shredded ch cheddar, and then jalapenos, garlic powder, freshly ground black pepper, and non-stick cooking spray. So really what, what you do is you probably start by wrapping it around. Is that what you do? Yes, we, we actually put it into a muffin tray and then we put the bacon ah. in and then we put the ingredients in. Now for Christmas, we also added some red pepper. So it's both the green with the jalapeno. The green with the, the red. red so pepper, so it gives it a little bit of Christmas spirit it's, to it. It's very festive. So this, this works uh, pretty well, well here. So what's, what's this good to pair with? You know, it really goes great with the um, everything on a buffet really but one of the things that would taste best with it would be some of our St. Christopher Glühwein and we have that both in the alcoholic and non-alcoholic version and I brought a little sample today. I think a lot of people are into the festive beers and everything so this is beer I'm assuming or is um, this grape juice? It's actually a wine and it, it dates back to the 14th century and it's something that was wow. very popular in Europe and it's truly a little bit of holiday spirit in a bottle. So it's this is now, the one which, for little the little one kiddos. Is, uh, the one that's got the alcohol in it. This is the St. Christopher Glühwein. Uh, this one really has led the nation as far as bringing it into the states, but it's something that has a bunch of different spices in it. It's got clove, anise, it's got cinnamon. Uh, but it, you know, as I said, it's like holiday spirit in a bottle. And this is non-alcoholic, so this is red grape. That is juice. a non-alcoholic, and it's best served warm. Oh really? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Well, which, this is not. Which is so right. like, oh, I should be like, oh, it's <laughs> piping hot. Oh, I can't even touch it. Let's give it a try anyway. Um, so on a scale of one to ten, here, here you go, Alicia. Merry Christmas mm -hmm. to you. Cheers. How, how hard is it to cook that one? This is really simple. It's something I don't even cons consider myself that much of a chef. My chef Gustavo over at uh, Jerry's made that. But it, it really takes about 20 minutes. It's something that anybody could really oh, do. Oh, that's not bad. No. Not so at you all. can really impress the in laws, right? Yes. <laughs> very tasty. It's, uh, it's one of our most popular items that we have. So, do you have other holiday specials coming up? Yeah, um, we have our uh, New Year's Eve party. And actually, what we do at Von Rothenberg is we celebrate it at 5 p.m. because in Munich, that's the time that New Year's hits. So we do it a little bit early for people, and it's usually a really, it's a sold out event for us. So that's the 31st? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then New Year's Day, are you closed? Yes, we'll be closed New Year's Day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Are there deadlines for catering orders for the holidays? You know, we can take anything right up to the right up to the last day. And uh, so, so if if you don't want to make that, you, you can get that delivered, make, baby. You can call us, and, and we're we're also famous for our ribs, so we can do the ribs too. Oh, oh. Alicia, that well, sounds good. Uh, who knew? There you go. And there's a there's a picture there, right, of the restaurant. Yep. What is that? It's been there since 1850. That's actually our chicken snitchel. Snitchel. There's a glue vine. So, and you know, there's a lot of German heritage in Wisconsin. So, if you're if you have a family that's coming into town. This would be a perfect place to go. Wow. You really are the most authentic Gorgeous. place out there. You can so see right there. I love it. So if you would like to go to Jerry's Old Town Inn, it's located right on Main Street in Germantown. You have another restaurant right next door. Yes. Chaz, thank you for waking up with us. That oh, was really thank good. You. Thank yeah, you for thank sharing you so your ingredients too. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with a final check of your forecast next. You're watching today's TMJ4 live at daybreak.